Hi guys. So they called today and said they had our hatch done. So um, it's time to put the hatch on top of the bus. What's up YouTube? Gonna close the hatch on this thing. <laughs> Show us that thing again. That's what we dumpster dive for. They yeah, this is the piston arms. How cool is that? So we just cut the where they connected off. And Chris welded them on here. Chris knew how to do this. I did not. So thanks to Chris for making those beautiful welds. Almost looks too good to use. I got to remember how to put it together. It's a jigsaw puzzle. There yeah, you go. Like that. And that goes on there like that. This goes, yeah. And that keeps that thing from flopping around when it's open. So I love this. This is the handles, but it's the tops that they cut off. It's the part that grabbed the crankshaft. That is so cool. Okay guys, here's the roof hatch upside down and I'm going to put butyl tape all along this. And I got butyl tape left over from when I put the windows in up here. So I've got the holes pre-drilled down here. So it's already been in here and been test fitted. And, uh, this is crazy because this morning it was 24 degrees and freezing cold and I went and actually I put a different type heater in the bus and warmed it up this morning and now it's so warm with all the heat coming up out of here and the sun shining on us that uh, I'm using no jacket so here comes my beautiful cave <laughs> it's beautiful honey I'm so glad you like it. And giving the butyl, uh, pushing it down, <laughs> and taking advantage of the body weight. <laughs> I would have done this when it was warmer, but or when we were inside, but uh, it's not ideal in the cold weather. But I used the heat gun and I warmed it all up, so we're perfect. Plus, the sun is really warming up inside the bus. It's crazy. It's like noon, one o'clock, and the sun is like full on the bus. Yeah. yeah. So the timing should be perfect, huh? Let me show them what it looks like out here now. So you can see this lip I got here. And I'm pre-drilled for the screws. So now what I'm gonna do is squirt Cicaflex underneath over to that black butyl and then put the screws in. It should be awesome! There's the sky view. What Wet you... spill on aisle seven cleanup. Cleanup. It's a blowout. <laughs> oh no. I guess I blew it with this tube. <laughs> Must have been uh, damaged too because it just it just exploded out the side while I was using it. Oh, what a bummer. I could just tape it back. So here's where we're at. I'm up on the roof showing you what Randy has got done. He has got this piece all attached down all the way around and is now got blankets down so we don't scratch up the roof and oh the sun is really bright and just went to get him to lift the cover up what's up youtube i think a storm's blowing in tomorrow gotta batten down the hatches seriously i hope it works <laughs> Here she goes. Bam. Bam. Suck her down, baby. All systems going weather tight, mama. I love it. <laughs> and when you want back out, you just gotta loosen up the drawbar. And then there's little tabs in there, so you just pull down and then the spring holds it like that. When you open it up, and then there's a foot up there. You can go up and see it right through there that, that holds it open. 
So here's the resting foot that he's talking about. There's going to be two of them, but I got to slot the hole on the other one. This is so cool, baby. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love that Chris and Joe had me put these little locking bumps there, right? So when this thing goes over, like, you just get it up on those ramps and then it snaps into place. Yeah, that's so now cool. it won't come loose until you pull down and then let it back around. That's so cool. Wow, that's a, that is rewarding. Finally have that thing done. Good job well done, honey. Yeah, we just got to spray foam that. That's my plan for up in there. Oh yeah, that sucker's watertight. Mm. So we have the hatch all installed and it is awesome, amazing. We're so excited about this addition to the bus. And we just wanna thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we enjoy each and every one of you guys and love sharing it with you and we love you all. We'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.